Anyway, um, this is a video on my haul from Elf. So, this, I'm just coming in my address. This is what it looks like. It just comes in a brown box like this. I have a box and it says Elf on it and then it will say your address. And then over here it says their address. Then you open it up and you'll have a bubble wrap, which, you know, everyone, everyone loves a bit of bubble wrap. Okay. So, we'll put that there, because we're obviously not going to chuck it away. Come on guys, this is bubble wrap we're talking about. Right. Then you'll get your receipt, which... I'm covering in my address, but this is what the receipt looks like. It tells you what you bought. I only bought five things, but... Oh my god. Um, yes, it tells you what you bought from last. Um, so, I didn't buy this. Why is this in here? The first thing I bought was... Okay, I ordered some eyelashes um, a few days ago, like last week. Um, which is what I've got on now. Um, and they're brown ones, but I put black mascara over them anyway. Um, and this is what they look like fresh, like in the box. Um, so yeah, these are the ones I got. And I was really disappointed because the glue that comes with them, um, when I pulled out to apply it, um, it was all like, where it had gone, like the air had probably got to it, it made it like, like more like a chewing gum kind of thing. So, it was a good thing that I've got lo I've got loads of glues anyway. I've got this one from Lash Fix, from Isla, which that wasn't the one I used. Um, I've also got... This one, which just says eyelash adhesive, probably some cheap, cheap one. And also, I have... Now, this is the one that I use every time with my eyelashes, because I just think it's really easy. I've ripped the label off, because I'm stupid, I don't know why I did that. But, um, I did it ages ago, and I think the label was getting dirty, and I just didn't look like it, so I just cut yeah, this is what it looks like, and you just like go like that and just apply it. But it's so good, and there's so much in there, and the glue's really good. But at the moment, I've got these eyelashes that I ordered a week ago. I've got them on now, and I've used this glue that come in this one, not the one that come in this one, because I chucked that one. But the glue that come in this one, I used it, and that's why they're all peeling off. But I just wanted to keep them on so I could show you that they're all coming off. So, if you was going to get this, I would recommend getting this, which now you won't be able to know where it is, but I think I got this from Superdrug, but yeah, I did. Superdrug or Savers, I'm not sure, but like, just, a, like, one that's going to be a glue, just a glue, like, because usually ones that come like this, all the focus is on the eyelashes and not the glue, but if you buy just glue, then the focus is on the glue, do you get what I mean? So, you'll probably get good. Um, yeah, so eyelashes. They were £1.50. Yep. Then, next I got Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder. Which I haven't used yet. But, this is like the closest shade I'd say to my skin colour that was on there. And I think, oh wait, let me see on the say it might say. Um, Um, healthy Glow Bronzing Powder Matte Bronze. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. And that was also £1.50. And it doesn't come with anything, but when you open it... I was going to use it, but I didn't want to ruin this. When you open it, it says Elf there. I don't know if I'm holding it too close, or... Yeah, it says Elf. That's going to be scratched out soon. Um, next I got... Clarifying Pressed Powder. 
Toffee Tone 4. Toffee Tone 4. Which looks like uh, this. So that was again the closest to my skin tone. And it also comes with this little. What would you call that? I'm not sure. I'm just going to call it a puff. Comes with a little fluffy puff. Yeah. That's pretty cute. Um. Yeah. Uh, next I got this, which is Tinted Moisturiser SPF 15 Toffee Tone 4. So, that's what that looks like. Yeah, so that's Toffee. And again, that's like closest to my skin tone. I have got it on, but it's underneath my foundation. So I've put foundation over it and like powder and stuff. So you won't be able to see it, but it is really good. It's just like a foundation, but it's just like moisturiser, which is really good. Um, then the last thing I got was a nail polish. And... Wait a minute. Oh yeah, um, sorry. Um, I just thought I just read this last, and I thought you've put some texture in, but no. Because <coughs> apparently sometimes they make mistakes and chuck extra things in. Um, but I, they've never chucked anything in for me. Yeah, so nail polish, and it's in smoky brown. Doesn't say it on here, no. Like, yeah, it does. My camera does not focus, so good luck trying to see that. Yeah, it says Smoky Brown, D17, and 35 ounces. Yes, that's that. And the colour comes out just the same as it is on the bottle, because I've put, I've put it on my nail. And it actually did dry pretty quick. Um, some people have said that these nail varnishes um, take a long time to dry, like mainly the light ones, but I just want to say that this one doesn't take long to dry because I thought, oh god, this is going to take forever to dry. Um, but I just put it on and it's dry. So. I only put it on a minute ago, so. Yeah, so that's that and it's really nice. I love this colour. Um, um, oh yeah, um, this didn't come from e.l.f. but I went to Superdrug today and I brought um, a Barry M lipstick which is the one I've got on now. Um, I did have some red lipstick before but like the lid come off in my bag and all like, you know like you have like glitter in your bag like, I don't know why you have glitter, like glitter, crumbs, just loads of rubbish. Um, like just went on it like inside and I just thought that's disgusting so I just chucked it away and I built some more um, and this is Barium Cosmetics LTD number 121 and it's 14 grams London UK and this is my mum's boyfriend was like is this all you get is this all you get and then he kind of just put the lid down like he put the lid on it like that so it's probably squashed a little bit and went down and now it's like flat at the top because he's silly so yeah this isn't how I found it by the way <laughs> so yeah this is the colour yeah pretty nice so yeah that's all I got um yeah Um, and also, the bo with the boxes, you could do like really cool things. Sorry, I'm probably really close. You can do really cool things. Like I wanted to keep mine to put like loads of like makeup in. Like even though I've got a makeup bag, I just wanted to use it for something. So I was just like, yeah, I'll put some makeup in there. Um, 
So I've got makeup, brush, eyeliner, foundation, this, Great Balls of Desire. This was from Primark like ages ago. Um, this was from a set. I don't use them, but they're just there. Yeah, so, and then I just got a Take a Break magazine, because that was the closest thing to me, and I just started cutting bits off of it, like, um, I cut my name out in letters, and then I cut out, oh, you can't see it, I cut my name out in letters, then, um, I cut out this real beauty, I didn't put it underneath it, as just to say, Sasha is a real beauty, I just put it there because it's where it fit, um, I got to cut out some hairspray. I don't even use that hairspray. No, I don't use that hairspray. I need to some earrings and some VO5 and a girl in a purple dress, which I like, but I would never wear it, but I think she does it. And this is like a hair dye advert kind of um, picture that you can't see the hair dye bit because I cut out. But yeah, so you can like decorate your box however you want to decorate and you can just use it to put stuff in like this is my other one yeah. so to go from this to this pretty cool yeah so that's all I've done and you've got to save the bubble wrap to play with because that's the fun bit yeah but um I love ordering from elf like when I'm on there I'm just like <laughs> Because everything's so cheap, like, oh, I didn't tell you how much that nail varnish was. Um, basically, every single item I bought was £1.50. And the delivery price was £2.95. Um, so the total come to £9.95. So, that's pretty good. And when I'm, when I'm on there, it's just so fun because I'm just like finding all these bargains and I, I, I don't want to I want to buy loads more but I don't want to like spend all my money so I might like wait until I get paid which is like in 15 days and then I might just spend loads loads I love bubble wrap I would love to build like a bubble wrap dress and then like just jump on the floor and see if it pops because if you go like that like if you fold your bubble wrap and squeeze it doesn't pop oh that made me look like a twat um that is all um the, oh my god, my hair is a mess. I've got curly hair and straight hair extensions, so I just like shoved them in because that's what I wanted to do. Um, the eyeshadow I've got on is from this, which is, it was made in China. Oh, the Boots Company, Nottingham. So I'm guessing it's from Boots. It was a, it was a Christmas present and it's a day look and night look palette I hate when you use eyeshadows because they start to get like um like the powder like this one's still compressed and I love that but I don't like it when I start to use them that's a nice colour actually why haven't I used that? oh well um, Yeah. So that is all, and I have also wanted to show you that I've tidied my room a bit. Um, there is my hair extension, a pair of Converse, some heels, some other heels, my boot and my shoes, my fridge, my clothes, which are horrible. Um, they're not all my shoes, by the way. In case you're thinking I've got one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes for life. <laughs> no. They're just the shoes that I wear most often and that are at my mum's. 
and my other pairs are downstairs. Okay. And I've got my um, Xbox on. I brought it upstairs. Yeah. I need some more clothes. I am always, like, when I'm at work, I'm always looking at the fish. It's so weird. But I'm just addicted to the fish. Also, I ripped my wardrobe doors off because I'm getting a, a new wardrobe this week. Um, and I think it looks better like this just for the week. Because it looks like a walking wardrobe, even though you can't walk in. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and this comes from the door. And I think it is really cute because it's a like proper like old fashioned retro looking um, wardrobe. Yeah. So what I was thinking of doing is putting a chain around it and making it into a necklace. But I'm not sure yet. But that would be very recyclable of me. My controller. Yeah, I still need to try to do my bed though. Um, if anyone has a YouTube like leak, um, if anyone's oh, what do you call it? You know when you're on YouTube? Oh my god, I'm well close. You know when you're on YouTube and um, they that was a close show. You know when you're on YouTube and they offer you like a um. A, uh, what do you call it? A partnership. When they, I'm just in here. When they offer you a partnership, it says that it's copyright to put songs in the background and to sing songs. So I should delete all of my singing songs, which some of you will probably be like, oh, thank fuck for that. But I think that's really upsetting because I should be able to post what I want. But then I go on some people's that are obviously, um, like with YouTube in the uh, in the thing in the little partnership thing um, and they still play music and stuff but underneath you'll see like I do not own the rights for this song or something like that so can anyone tell me that can you still post songs and stuff and like if you're recording and the TV's on in the background can you still do that but just date that underneath because I have to keep turning my music off every time I record now because I'm scared that my account's going to be deleted so please can someone help me help also oh, I've made a new blog so you've got to go on it um I just like kissed my finger <laughs> um it is I love her farts. Not her farts, because that's cringy. I love her farts, as in performing arts. Um, I think it's dot blogger or dot just dot com. I love performing arts. No, I love her farts dot com. So check that out. I changed it. I'm going to explain now. I changed it because I have Google accounts and. Um, I have Google accounts and um, whenever I sign into my blog spot it signs me out of my YouTube and signs me into that account because I've got different MSN for it so say this is YouTube and this is blog spot yeah when I want to go on here it will sign me out of that and put me in this email address on that but when I want to go on the other one it signs me out of my blog spot and signs me in on a different thing. So I just thought I'm just going to make one that I can just, so I can be on both because I'm sick of like opening a new tab, blah, 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 coming back, log back in. It's just, it's too much effort. I'm too lazy to do that. So yeah, that is my new blog. Um... A tip for you if you're putting on lipstick, because, 
when I used to put on my red lipstick before, sometimes I would I would go through a stage of having really dry lips. Like once a year, I'll get dry lips, like at the beginning of winter kind of thing. So a good tip for you if you get this is to um, get like a lip balm or like Vaseline or something like that and put it on like before you like while you're applying the rest of your makeup put it on your lips so all of that is like soaking into your lips making them all nice and then you can put your lipstick over the top because otherwise it will be all splitty and dry and you'll just look really bad so that's the tip and another tip is don't wear extensions don't wear straight hair extensions with curly hair because you'll look like a tramp like me